Hope Zocker 0007. In today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing and overview of the Tilt Wireless Charger. So this wireless charger actually first started on Kickstarter, got really popular, and they went out and actually released it. So I'm going to go through and kind of show you guys what it's about. So you can get it from their website or from Amazon. It comes in four different colors, very vibrant colors, by the way. I chose the subtle black. Um, it's at a high, very, very high price point of $70. So this is definitely one of the most expensive wireless chargers you can get. So I'm going to talk about um, what it does and if it's worth that really high price point. So the charger itself comes in this very nice box. Um, the box itself is see-through, so you can see the product right from the um, box, and it, tells, it talks about all kinds of different things on the back of it, but we're going to skip that and pretty much go ahead and straight up and open the box right now. So inside of it, there's very few accessories, obviously, because it's a charger. So we have the charging um, device itself, along with we have a AC adapter. And the AC adapter plugs into the back into a nice little hidden slot. Now going over the device itself, it's a, made of a soft plastic. It's actually very nicely made, um, very well crafted, no uh, dents or anything wrong with it. It's really nice looking. Here's a side shot of it, and there's the angle that we're talking about. And the back is this nice little uh, opening for your AC adapter, so it plugs in through the back there and kind of hides it. So it's a nice little cable management area there. Now simply, once you plug it in, all you have to do to charge your device is take your cheat compatible device, and place it on top, and then pretty much it will just charge. It's as simple as that. It's really easy to do, even a two-year-old can do it. You take the phone and you put it on top. And the nice thing is with this charger specifically, is it has such a wide range that you can even put your phone horizontally and it'll still charge. So you can use your phone in horizontal mode to, for example, play a game and it still charges. Some wireless chargers do have LEDs, um, some don't, this one does. It shows a green when it's charging, um, but it does not change color depending on the uh, amount full. So now I'll go through pros and cons of Qi enabled charging and just this device in general. So the first pro obviously is convenience. It's so simple to throw this device, your phone right on top of it and it charges. The second one is specific to this one specifically. So it's the angle. So because it's on angle, you can use it while it's being charged. Other third option here is that it's Huawei colors and overall well designed. Now some of the cons are obviously it's very pricey. Um, there is a slower charge compared to USB. So I found that it was about 75% as fast as a USB. So for example, in let's say it took an hour to go from zero to 100%, and then it would take an hour and about 15 minutes to go from zero to 100% on this charger. So it's a bit slower than USB, not much, but a bit. And the second one is a slight heat up. Now this isn't because of the, this charger specifically. All wireless chargers do do this as of right now. So um, there's a bit warmth. It's not much and it's nothing to be scared of, but there is a slight warm up on the pad and the phone itself. And the third one is obviously, um, not all devices are supported. So my phone has it built in and a lot of the top Android phones do. Um, but for, for, for certain phones like the iPhones, you will have to get a special case that enables it. And for some phones, like I believe the S5, all you have to do is replace the battery. But for, for phones that do not have the Qi enabled device um, chip inside already, and then need the only a case to add on. And a lot of times they're very thin, it's just a little chip. But obviously that is a disadvantage because you have to check if your phone is Qi enabled already. Otherwise you will have to go and buy some extra accessories. So overall, what's my opinion on this uh, wireless charger? Honestly, I really like it. And if you can get it for $10, $15 off the price on like an Amazon sale, then it's definitely worth the money. At the full retail price, I can see it being a little pricey. And even at the $50 price, I can still be a little, I can still see it being a little pricey. But if you want a high quality, um, great wireless charger, then this is definitely one you should consider as it is, in my opinion, one of the best wireless chargers you can buy as of right now. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. Uh, anything to do with the charger or even just Qi enabled charging in general, uh, leave it below. I'll do my best to answer. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in my next video.
this to hacker triple oh seven and I'm signing off.